Well, hello. We're at a mastermind event, kind of like a seminar, and I was on stage last night, and um, I just met Stephen and last night, and he walked up to me and told me this great story, and I asked him if he wouldn't mind sharing it. So, Stephen, thank you so very much for sharing this story. So, right before uh, the Betrayal, the betrayal series um, was released, just a week prior, um, my wife, um, amazing woman, was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. And it was a big shocker for us. Um, you know, I'm, I'm the counterculture. So anything that mainstream anything talks about, whether it's medical or news, I'm always like, I'm going to disprove it before I believe it. So as soon as I heard that, you know, she was diagnosed with RA, I said, man, we have to make some really drastic moves and, you know, take an alternative approach and so forth. However, my wife, although the woman of my dreams and amazing, um, is a registered nurse and allopathically trained. Tr traditionally trained. Tr traditionally trained. Um, so we've had a lot of very interesting dining room conversations over the years. Uh, so now we have this really crazy news, right? Yeah. I mean, you know, we're not even close to 40 years old. And it's like, how can this happen? So uh, a really good friend of mine said, you know what? I have, I know a guy that is, is just released this um, series. And I really think it would be a blessing to Amy um, to watch it. So I said, yeah, let's do it. Let's watch it. So um, we watched every one of them. And literally, we had so many aha moments through your presentation. And um, I was so thrilled when I got to see you last night just to say thank you. Because just by following um, the super majority of what you taught in that series, coupled with a lot of really great thought leaders in our space, uh, without taking any synthetic chemicals, without taking any medications that she was prescribed by a rheumatologist and so forth, um, she has virtually, um, in the last you know nine months, completely eliminated all of her symptoms. Um, there's still a little bit of achy here now and then, um, and a little bit of inflammation, but literally just through a, a hardcore elimination diet, um, getting rid of gluten and dairy and a lot of um, these triggers, I mean, she went from, you know, being in excruciating pain, getting out of bed every day to living a fairly normal lifestyle. So we're not all the way there yet, but we are like so close and we're going to keep going. And really, it's because of thought leaders and, you know, revolutionaries like you that are sticking your neck out there and being the counterculture and, you know, saying things that so many people are not willing to say that are really changing people's lives. And I just wanted to say thank you, man. It was just so awesome how you really blessed and impacted my family off of, you know, information. It's really awesome. Well, thank you so very much. That's really wonderful to hear. Thank you. And uh, I want you to know and you to know that when we were in London uh, interviewing for the Betrayal series, we interviewed Professor Alan Ebringer. Professor Ebringer was the guy in the early 80s that published the papers on molecular mimicry, which means your immune system attacks like a food mm -hmm. and some part of your body looks kind of similar to the signature of the food. And so those cells, the immune system attacks your body. He published on molecular mimicry in rheumatoid arthritis with bacteria. And no one had ever thought about that kind of thing before. And he was ostracized by all the rheumatologists. They thought he was a nutcase. And for most of his career, uh, he was looked upon as being fringe and outside the norm. And you're in Britain, you know, where sure. they're tried and true, right? But he had the courage and the guts to just stand by and kept writing papers. Now it's more commonly known about the molecular mimicry that can trigger rheumatoid arthritis. So uh, it's one person stands on the shoulders of that another and then stand on the shoulders of that guy. And we're just carrying that message forward. So thank you so very much for sharing this information with me. Thank My you so much. My pleasure. Thank you. Pleasure.